Good morning and welcome to today's verse. Today's verse comes to us from the book of Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 4, and I will read it. It says, you have not resisted to bloodshed, striving against sin. As we run the Christian race, we will face many challenges and temptations along the way. But listen, we are not alone. The author of the book of Hebrews here, he dedicates a whole chapter to the great heroes of the faith that serve as this great cloud of witnesses to remind us that God is faithful, that he will enable us to endure and yet to overcome. But our greatest witness, our greatest example is Christ himself, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. And none of us have faced opposition or endured temptation as intense as he has. Now, as we find ourselves in the season of Lent, our text reminds us of what Christ went through in the Garden of Gethsemane and upon the cross, how he struggled against the temptation to choose another way other than the cross. He endured to the point of bloodshed in both cases in the Garden of Gethsemane. His sweat was as great drops of blood, and upon the cross he bled and died. Praise God that he found the strength to pray to the Father, not my will, but let your will be done. He resisted the temptation that was set before him, and he endured suffering even to the point of death, that is death on the cross. And we too must fight uh, not to give in to temptation. And though we are weak, yet he is strong, and he has not left us defenseless. Yes, we have the power of prayer. We have his word and the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. Let us therefore run the race with endurance that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who, endure, who, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, despised the shame, and now has set at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. To God be the glory for the great things he has done. I pray that you would meditate upon this verse today, that it would be a word of encouragement to you as you go throughout your day. I pray that you have a safe day and then tune in again tomorrow. Yes, as we consider today's verse. Amen.